Hello. In this video, we are going to look at an introduction to GUI by building a system of equations calculator using Python 3. Now, this is as part of a larger playlist, and by the end of it, we'll have learned some of the basics of how to develop some, some GUIs in Python 3. Now, to do that, we need to understand some terminology. And this first video is going to, going to kind of explore that. So, what is GUI? GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. GUIs are designed to allow users to interact with a program. You use them all the time. They're on your phones. Um, PowerPoint has a GUI. And, and what we're noticing is that those the GUI or the user interface is becoming more important to the user experience. And in fact, if you do a Google search for UX jobs, you're going to find a whole bunch of, of what are called user experience jobs. Um, and those are people that focus on on developing GUIs and how the GUIs work with the back end. Um, so we're going to be talking about this uh, funny word here, T-K-I-N-T-E-R, which um, you can say T-K-Inter or tink Tinkter. tinkter. Um, it stands for the TK interface, which is a pre-built module with a variety of tools that allow the easy implementation of GUI widgets. It's actually pretty complicated to build some of these things, um, like a button or um, a, a text box. Um, to build those from scratch is hard. So, um, like many programming languages, Python um, comes with this module preloaded, and that's what we're going to learn how to, how to use in this set of videos. Uh, it's really important that you familiarize yourself with the documentation. Um, and if you have the copy of this PowerPoint presentation, you can find it here. If you just do a Google search for Python 3.5 um, TK Enter documentation, you'll find it. So on the screen here, I have three really simple um, GUI applications that I developed. Um, a Hello World application, my system of equations calculator, and one called a string manipulation tool, which allows me to enter a string in and do a number of different um, things to it. So the next term we want to familiarize ourselves with is widget. So a widget is a predefined component that can be created and embedded in a GUI. So let's look at our system of equations calculator and we'll talk about the different widgets that we're going to learn how to use. What I want to stress is that we're going to learn to use a small set of widgets, but um, the concepts that we're developing are transferable to a, to a wide variety of widgets. So um, the first thing we have is what's called a root window, and whenever you're working with, with the TK Enter package, um, you have to make a root window. This is where everything kind of gets placed. This isn't really a widget, but um, it's where the widgets go. Um, this is an image. Um, so the way that I, I, I'll do this is I'll create, I'll use a widget called a canvas, which is a nice widget you can use to actually draw on with um, your mouse if you want to make a paint type program. But the other thing you can do with a canvas widget is you can actually take an image and paste it on. In this case, what the image does is it tells me the form of the equation that we're considering, and so I understand what the inputs mean. We have a label. A label is a simple widget that allows us to place some text on a GUI display. We have an entry. An entry widget is a single box that's designed to take an input. Um, all inputs from entry widgets are considered strings, so we're going to have to talk about how to, how to convert the input type from a string to some sort of numerical type. And finally, we have a text widget. So a text widget is, is um, a widget that we use to display um, a bunch of text. You can both just output things to it as well as read from it. You'll notice that um, I have a number of label as well as entry widgets in this. So the last thing we want to kind of get our head around in terms of um, terminology is we want to understand what event-driven programming is. Um, you might have been learning how to program by writing um, simple methods or some sort of program that you run and then you, you use the text console and that runs from the top down. Um, what an event-driven program is, is um, it's a program that starts up and it basically sits in a holding pattern until something happens, an event happens. And that event will, will call a small component of code that is executed. So for example, when you're using Microsoft PowerPoint, um, when you hit the save button, that executes a small chunk of code that then saves your program. That is the event. 
the clicking of that button. Um, you can attach events to a number of different widgets, um, but what's important to understand is that events don't have to be attached to widgets. They could be executed on a mouse movement or a key press. Um, there are also some default events that are that are included with with TK Enter. So for example, um, by default, the tab button will move you between specific widgets that are interactive. So in our next video, we are going to start to look at how to build this application. And by the end of this um, collection of videos, you will have a nice little systems of a system of equations calculator. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to post them.